yes guys what's going on welcome back to the channel and to today's video definitely definitely one of my favorite videos to film of the month because as you can see by the title in today's video we're going to be going through my monthly favorite pickups so as usual i've got a load of different pieces to show you but what is really exciting about today's video for me personally and for you guys is today you're gonna get the first ever look at one of the pieces from my clothing brand that I'm dropping very, very soon. So yeah, today is today's a really exciting video. As always though, guys, before we get into it, let's smash that thumbs up button. Let's hit subscribe if we're new to the channel. And I'd also really appreciate it if you could hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. I'm super active every single day. I'm posting outfit pictures, I'm posting outfit reels, and it kind of gives you guys the opportunity to keep up with me on a daily basis, get a behind the scenes look into my life. So yeah, if that is something that you guys want to see, then definitely give me a follow over there. But guys, that's enough of the intro chat. Let's jump in and take a look at favorite pickup number one from the month of April. <music> Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of start from the top with outerwear and I guess just kind of work my way down from there. So the first piece that I wanna show you in today's video has to be this beauty. And this is the black trench coat that I picked up from my most recent um, Zara haul. So this is coming in at a very reasonable 79 pound and 99 pence and in terms of actual sizing with this i actually sized up to an extra large as i always do with both trench coats and overcoats just to i guess kind of emphasize that boxy oversized look for me guys the trench coat is honestly a timeless wardrobe essential it's definitely a piece that can be kind of in your rotation year in year out and is honestly just the perfect type of jacket for the spring months. With trench coats, you can definitely style them multiple different ways. You know, you can, you can dress these up, maybe you're going for a date night or you're going out for some drinks. And on the flip side of that, you can also keep it super casual as well, as I have here, styling it with a simple white t-shirt, my olive clothing trousers and my Balenciagas on foot. And to be honest, guys, this, this kind of casual aesthetic is... It's definitely my favorite way to style the trench coat. All right then guys, so next up is the most exciting part of today's video, for me personally anyway, because favorite pickup number two is this absolute banger of a hoodie from my own brand, which I'm not actually going to release the name of the brand just yet. But this is one of the pieces that I am going to be dropping. It's an oversized but cropped hoodie, obviously in black. With the kind of colour correction that I put on in post-editing, it might be like a weird blue colour, but you'll see on the on-body b-roll stuff that it is black. But this is completely custom made, incredible, incredible quality, insane fabric, 480 to 500 GSM, super heavyweight. You will know that I absolutely love my sweatshirts and my hoodies to have a nice crop in the length. And to be honest, I've, I've never really found one that fits me exactly how I would want it to. So for that reason, I basically made my own and who knows, maybe maybe we've got some sweatshirts with this kind of fit as well. So this is pretty much my final sample. I just need to decide whether I want to add literally like one to two centimeters onto the actual length of the hoodie. I'm not too sure yet, so I just need to decide that. But apart from that minor adjustment, if I even make it, we're pretty much there. Like I said, guys, it's incredible, incredible quality. It's really heavyweight. All the fabrics were sourced in the UK. It was manufactured in the UK. And yeah, I just, I can't wait to get this alongside the other items out for you guys. It's literally that heavy. It's killing my shoulder. But 
Um, yeah, I absolutely love the fit. Nice and cropped in the body. So it kind of gives you that option to kind of layer a t-shirt underneath and add a little bit more depth to the overall look. So yeah, guys, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below what you think. This is obviously just like a sneak peek at one of the samples. I've got more pieces that I will be dropping, but I didn't really want to give too much away. But at the same time, I wanted to kind of show you guys what I am working on and what is coming soon. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you think. But yeah, that was item or favorite pickup number two. Let's take a look at pickup number three. Okay, so moving on to favorite pickup number three, and that is this ASOS slash collusion overshirt in the stone colorway. Such a simple yet at the same time beautiful piece. And the best part about this, guys, is the price point. This is coming in at £25, so an absolute steal. So if you are kind of on the hunt for a neutral earth tone colored overshirt, then this is a great, great option. I really do love the overall fit of this piece. Super oversized, it's got that nice drop shoulder, and I was also really impressed just with the overall quality as well, especially with it being at the price it's at. So with overshirts, they're just perfect for those kind of in-between days, the days where, you know, it's too hot to be wearing like a coat or a jacket, but at the same time, it's definitely too cold to be rocking just a t-shirt as well. For those days, for me personally, the overshirt is my go-to. So guys, next up, favorite pickup number five is these black pleated trousers that I picked up from ASOS and I was so surprised at the price point of these because these are coming in at £27.99, an absolute bargain. Right off the bat, these are an incredible alternative to the Izzy Miyake pleated trousers. I, I would actually go as far and say that these are the best alternative on the market today. And to be honest, guys, I am just gassed that I've managed to get them because these are selling out everywhere. The only thing that I wish was a little bit different, if I'm being picky, and this is also just personal preference, is I kind of wish the lower half of the leg was just a little bit wider. But again, that is obviously just personal preference. I like my trousers to be a little bit wider in the leg but that's just that's definitely me just being picky still an amazing amazing alternative as you can see the pleats themselves are actually super thick and visible which i absolutely love and these are just an all-round really versatile pair of trousers you can dress them up for a date you can dress them down for a coffee either way these are gonna look insane so yeah guys super gas to have them really excited to kind of put some outfits together and for 27 pound and 99 pence it was a no-brainer so guys moving on to favorite pickup number five sticking with zara sticking with this whole kind of like pleated theme but this time we have the pleated shorts in the gray colorway and these are also coming in at 27 pound and 99 pence so an amazing alternative to the izimiyaki ones and again at an incredible incredible price point i'm not going to kind of talk too much about these just because i did completely go over them in my previous video which was actually a zara haul so if you haven't yet seen it go and watch it i'll link it in the description below so we're not going to really talk too much about these but at the same time i love them that much that i had to include them in my monthly favorites what is great about these is they actually come in a total of three different colors so you have this um, light gray they're also available in an oyster white 
as well as a black as well. So yeah, you've got a little bit of variation in terms of colors to kind of choose from as well. They're just the perfect shorts for the summer months. The super flowy, I did actually size up to a large just to kind of enhance that boxy wide leg look. It does have a drawstring, so it does still fit me on the waist. Um, but yeah, just overall, the perfect shorts for the summer months and yeah, I would highly recommend that you pick these up. Like I said, they're flying out. They've already sold out a couple of times on the website and obviously been restocked. I had to wait for the black ones. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that you be quick. So next up guys, moving on to favorite pickup number six and that is these olive green Birkenstock sandals. These I believe normally come in at £35 but last week I went shopping, I went into our kit and these were available for £22 and it was the last pair as well. So for £22 considering they're normally £35 and it being their last pair I just couldn't leave without them. I just love the overall color of these. This kind of like olive green slash forest green colorway is really popular and on trend at the minute. A lot of brands are kind of including this tone within their collections. And I personally am a really big fan. So I did originally really want the Balenciaga chunky track sandals. That that is a sandal that I really did and I really do want, but to be honest, I just couldn't really justify paying around £600 for something that I'm only going to be wearing for like a couple of months a year, not even that. So for that reason, I couldn't really justify paying £600 and these, although they're not quite as chunky and they're not as much of a statement, these are a great alternative. They definitely do give off that same kind of vibe. And also, for the record, I always, always, always wear socks with my sandals. Nobody wants to see toes. Who wants to see toes? So yeah, I always wear socks with my sandals. Normally, the kind of look that I would go for would be like black trousers, black socks, and then these sandals as well. The look that you're kind of seeing on the b-roll that is overlaid over this so next up guys moving on to favorite pickup number seven and kind of sticking to that whole kind of like forest green colorway but this time moving on to accessories we have this asos design tote bag like I said in this kind of like forest green colorway. You guys have seen the other one that I have in that kind of like natural slash beige colorway and honestly guys I use it every single day so it just kind of made sense to pick one up the exact same one in another colorway just to I guess kind of switch things up a little bit. Honestly for me personally I would say a tote bag is definitely a spring summer wardrobe essential. It's something that I literally include in my outfit pretty much every single day. Especially, like I said, in these spring summer months. For us guys, our outfits can kind of look, I guess, a little bit basic with the lack of layers. So having the option to kind of layer our outfit with an accessory such as this tote bag is a great way an easy way to kind of elevate what can be, like I said, quite a basic look. So yeah, like I said, I had to grab this in the deep forest green colorway. It's actually quite a heavyweight, sturdy canvas fabric too, which I really like, and it's coming in at only 16 pound. So definitely a great, affordable way to elevate simple, basic summer outfits. So that's it guys, those with my favorite pickups from the month of April. As always, do let me know in the comment section down below which out of all of these pieces is your personal favorite. Let me know in the comments down below. Also guys, do let me know your initial thoughts on my hoodie. The quality is honestly 
insane. I can't wait for you guys to just kind of get the garment in hand and feel the quality, feel the fabric, feel how heavy weight it is. It is honestly insane. So yeah, let me know your initial thoughts. Do keep your eyes peeled over on my Instagram for some more information on this very, very soon. I'm hoping to get a finalized launch date um, I'll also kind of announce, I'm not, actually I'm not too sure how I'm going to announce like the name of the brand and the Instagram and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it over on Instagram or if I'm going to do it in like a reveal um, YouTube video. But do keep your eyes peeled over on my Instagram because there is going to be a lot more kind of sneak peeks and a a launch date announcement very, very soon. But that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be next Thursday. Peace.